hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be giving you a full wash day routine and i'm also going to be doing a blowout and a silk press on my natural hair i am a straight natural that was a conclusion that i came to last year so that means that i for the most part, only wear my hair straight. It's been the most practical thing for my day-to-day -day life. And honestly, I love it here. I love being a straight natural. So we are gonna be starting off with the uh, Olaplex Bond Maintenance Shampoo. This is definitely a holy grail in my arsenal now because I am um, straight natural and I use a lot of heat on my hair as well as um, being color treated I have had my hair colored and been blonde once upon a time and uh, currently I'm growing out a uh, balayage and depending on if I want to keep the color honestly yeah so with my shampoo I love to really get into the scalp that's my primary focus is getting a good lather massaging my scalp and um, letting the shampoo just do its thing for the rest of my hair as I'm washing it. Um, the water really just pulls all of the shampoo down the strands of my hair. So primary focus is my scalp. And I also do two washes if my hair is a little bit on the oily side just to make sure that it's clean because you know I'm gonna straighten it and um, I want to make sure that it's giving what it needs to give I need to make sure that it moves basically <laughs> Next, I'm going in with the uh, Olaplex Bond Maintenance Conditioner. If you're natural like I am, like conditioner is an absolute must. And uh, Olaplex, their whole line is just great for every hair texture or curl pattern. It works for us all, which is one thing that I love about it. Um, but this conditioner is really moisturizing. It has a lot of slip, so it helps me detangle my hair with ease. And as you can see, I am using a wide tooth comb. And this just makes the process so easy, honestly. I section my hair into two parts and I just, you know, go through and detangle as necessary. So from detangling, this is all the hair that I shed, that little bit. So I think we're doing good. Considering that I use heat on my hair pretty often, I have to deep condition. I'm using this Miel Rosemary Mint Strengthening Hair Mask and it gets the job done. I saturate my entire head, root to tip, with this hair mask and I leave it in for 10 to 15 minutes and during the process I'll typically continue my shower routine and rinse it out afterwards. Then I follow up with my microfiber hair towel. We love these because they don't strip your hair and completely dry your hair out like a normal bath towel would. So if you're natural, definitely invest. It's worth it. So here's my freshly washed hair. It looks good. 
my curls popping a little bit but I will say that the left side of my hair is definitely longer than the right side and that is because when I got it cut my stylist she left a little bit more on the left I've had this Conair blow dryer for years and we're using Chi Iron Guard to protect my hair from the heat if you are going to straighten your hair you absolutely need a good heat protectant don't skip it Chi Silk Infusions I put it all over my hair and this just helps with the straightening process and it is also a heat protectant I love Chi products I mean they were created for women that straighten their hair so I think they know a thing or two I separate my hair into four sections and from there I detangle right before I start blow drying. I go section by section and with this blow dryer the process is so fast. Like I blow dry my entire head in no more than 20 minutes and that's why I've had this dryer for years and I don't see myself letting it go anytime soon. It's been holding up pretty well. Now let's get into the straightening process. I use the Babeless Nano Titanium Flat Iron. It really does what it needs to do. I section my hair off into um, a big section in the front, smaller section in the back, and I just work my way up. I will admit that when I straighten my hair, I do more than one pass, and I know a lot of people are afraid of more than one pass but like I said before I'm a straight natural so honestly I'm not super super concerned about my curl pattern nowadays it's rare that I wear my hair curly or in its natural natural state or even in a twist out like I'm a straight natural hair girl and I'm fully okay and accepting of that Now with my commitment to being a straight hair natural, there is always the possibility for heat damage. And if you have noticed, some of my curls aren't as curly as the others. And I will say that that is a product of the consistent heat application, as well as my color. Like if you're chemically treating your hair in any way, there is always a possibility that it's going to alter your curl pattern um, or the chemical makeup of your hair because it's a chemical process. But I'm cool with that. And I'm also not afraid of scissors. So worst case scenario, you know, if I did have some type of damage, cut it all off. No issue. I'm actually going in for another cut at the end of this month and I'm gonna have a shorter bob because my hair has grown out quite a bit since November when I first got it cut into this bob and I'm gonna be short a short bob girl for a while and honestly been considering maybe a pixie cut too we'll see
I also wanted to give a little history about my natural hair journey and why I came to the conclusion that I wanted to keep my hair straight. So I have been natural for 10 years now. Before it was even the trend to go natural, I went natural on accident. <laughs> and before that, um, I was relaxed. My mom relaxed my hair growing up. But the story behind me going natural on accident is basically when I was in college, um, I used to do my own hair, style my own hair. At that point in my life, I wore a lot of quick weaves because back then, if you remember like 2010, 2011, around that time, like quick weaves were the thing, right? We used to, I used to love a good quick weave. So I used to do them for myself and um, I did a quick weave for myself and took it down, decided to dye my hair honey blonde with a box dye. That was mistake number one. And then when it started to grow out, I wanted to touch up my edges with a relaxer. That was mistake number two. And before I knew it, my edges were fried. They were gone. So me being a broke college kid and not having money to go to a beautician or money to really take care of my hair or get a new weave, like I didn't even have money to buy a pack of weave to do my quick weave again. So I had no choice but to big chop. I cut all of my hair off and I was left with maybe like an inch or two so I had the teeny winnie afro and like I said at the time it was not really popular to have the TWA and it really had to grow on me honestly I was a little uncomfortable for a while uh, because no one was rocking it and it was new to me like I said first time ever being natural but it grew on me eventually and I experimented so much. I tried so many hairstyles. I colored my hair. Um, I enjoyed my curls. I did the twist outs, the protective styles. Like I did it all over the past, um, I would say nine years. And now I'm at a point in my life where I appreciate straight hair. It is the most practical for my day-to-day -day lifestyle and uh, it works for me it really does work for me so yeah that is the story behind my natural hair journey and experience honestly i believe that women specifically black women should do whatever we want with our hair and there should be no shame behind it. Like if you're a natural, I respect it. I love it. I'm a natural. And if you decide to relax your hair, I support that too, sis. Do whatever works for you. Do whatever is the most practical for you. If you want to dye your hair hot pink, sis, rock your hot pink hair. That is how I feel about women in their hair black women in their hair. I support it all. I am certainly a side part kinda girl. Most of the time this is where my part is and initially when I straighten my hair I will wear it straight maybe for the first day first couple of days i would say then i will go in with some curls and i think they're my signature curls you can't tell me otherwise <laughs> but right now i am just gonna give my bang a little bump so you know that's what i'm doing and i'm gonna go in with the olaplex bonding oil number seven just for a little bit more sheen or shine and yeah this is the finished look 
thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this video and please like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and drop down any comments down below about my routine if you have any um, tell me about your natural hair journey tell me if you're a straight natural or if you're obsessed with your curls and let me know down below if you enjoyed this content if you want to see more natural hair content for me i would love to get your input in the comments section but otherwise thank you for tuning in and i will see you all in my next video bye guys